Like swimming with those fishies. Oh, you're that's swimming with the fishies? That's that's actually not a good thing. You were if you were a mobster, that would be bad. Swimming with the fishies, see? Oh, that one's gonna bite you. <laughs> no, they don't. Tricked ya. Alright, I wasn't going to leave you guys in full suspense for the whole video. Uh, yes, I was in the hospital for eight days. Um, was it necessarily because I ate blue filet from a pudding wife wrasse? No. But uh, yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update on that. I didn't want you to think that I went to the hospital because I ate a pudding wife wrasse, but it was because we went fishing and it just took too much out of me. Full story at the end of this video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are outside of the Jupiter Inlet in about 300 feet of water. We've heard that there have been some, what, some tuna and some mahi biting right around this this depth. And uh, what do you got, honey? We got a spread out? Yep, we're gonna put a trolling spread out. Um, I put a black, uh, black and purple feather out already, so we got one trolling lure out. I'm gonna put a squid out. And we're gonna troll south for a little while. We've got, uh, got a probably, few, uh, yeah, seven or eight uh, live sardines that we caught this morning. So we're gonna troll south a little bit. We'll find a little bit of weed line and uh, kind of throw some live baits in for dolphin once yeah, we get there. So see what happens, and then we'll go a little bit more inshore here in a little bit. See if we can get on any um, mutton or yellowtail too to, to take home. So yep, kind of mixed bag fishing today, but it's beautiful, and we want to spend the day out here. So we're gonna be out here all day. We're ready. Remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Let's go. This is getting bit. It's on. You guys got a fish on. Yep, fish on. Take the clicker off. Decent. Hundred and. Uh, probably about 100. 120 feet of water. Probably about 100. I can't tell what it is. Oh, it doesn't look big. What is that? I don't know. Red grouper? Yep. Yeah. Red grouper. Short. Short red grouper. Pretty. Pretty red grouper. Pretty red grouper, but just a little baby. No, we're not keeping him. Just a little baby. There you go. Pretty though. All right, go get big. Go get big. I like it too. Red groupers are pretty. Oh, oh, mommy got something. We're gonna see what it is. I'm watching the Daddy little baby. It's not big. No, you My guess is a grunt. Daddy! You just went through. Quiet. Let's go. And it's a grunt. Hey, what a good guess you had. Yeah. Well, at least we got some meat. This I still little, got meat to use. Come on, we got some, some fresh meat. I'll turn him into mutton bait. Mutton bait. Mutton bait. Got a big bite. Oh, big bite. Big bite. Big bite. I was Swim trying to get it. some tea. Got a big bite. I don't know. There you go. Pump and reel. There you go. There you go. It's not huge, but... Yep. What is it? Um, a, tri trigger. a queen trigger. Queen Big old queen trigger. Ooh, is that a no, you cannot keep okay, queen where's trigger. Baby? Where's baby? Baby's right there. 
big old bloated up queen trigger. Holy mackerel, she fell. I'm gonna hold you by the eyeballs and oh, get it out. Oh, is she pregnant? No, she's bloated. Holy cow. She looks like she's like full of air. She's full of water. Wow. Big old queen trigger. The belly on Back you go. Could be mutton. I see color. Right. Looks like a yellowtail. Looks yeah. like a yellowtail. No, 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 no! Don't do that. Don't. It's a keeper. Yes, but you're holding it over the boat. It's fine. He was nice and cooked good. I see. That's a keeper. There you go. Nice yellowtail. Yep. Got a nice there you go. yellowtail, guys. Wow. We think it's a keeper. I'm gonna have Chris measure it. Right yep. Here. That's number two. Yellowtail number two. First one we didn't even try. So looks about the same size. Uh, it took squid, by the way. So. Yep, 14. Nice size yellows. Yeah, good size yellows. There's number two in there. We got a grunt in there for some uh, for some meat. When we run out of a little bit of, we got a little bit of bonita, so I kept the grunt just for a little bit of fillets if we need them. So we got a bunch of yellows down here. Could be good. Yeah, a couple that of good yellow tails. Be, that, that chunk that we were drumming them up. Yep. Back there behind us, you know. All right, we made a wiggle on in a little bit shallower. Uh, we were having issues hitting the bottom, so we're putting right, the one yeah. balloon back out. The current was right around three miles an hour. Yeah, and that's rough with a with a three to five ounce weight on. Yeah, it was starting to rip pretty good, so we'll set this balloon back out. It looks about perfect right there. We'll just leave one live bait out, and we'll put one live bait down on the bottom and. Let's see what we got. Honey, go ahead and flip the bale over on that one. I think it's about perfect. You want one? Yep. There you go. Don't get sharked. Don't get sharked. <laughs> I think I did already. Real, real, real. Whatever it was, it got all already. <laughs> Maybe. Yep, looks like it, maybe. No, it's not. No, it's no, a big old it's a, it's a pudding wife rass. Pudding wife rass. Pretty. Pretty. Yeah. 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 We don't eat these. But, well, uh, I've heard they're delicious. You know, we may keep this one and try it out since we only got two is yellowtail. Is minimum on that? Look at those no. teeth. No, oh look at those gosh. chompers. I look at them chompers. chompers. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, that's the, that's the balloon. So keep oh. an eye on that. Something just got interested in our yeah. balloon, it looked, sounded like. That's hard too. Daddy, let me see those you want to see these chompers? Free? Yes. Whoa, He's he wants slippery. to bite somebody back. Yes, he does. There's his teeth. Whoa. I'm not bringing him any closer to you. We're going to throw him in the ice. He is very, very slippery. And he wants to bite me. There. Definitely wants to bite me. There is no minimum. <coughs> and I've heard they're delicious. So, we'll put these guys in an ice bath, just like so. I hope not. Let's see what you got. I'm catching all the leaf fish. Daddy's just putting a bunch of stuff out. He'll catch the big fish today. Mommy can catch all the <coughs> I'm going for something big, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. That's a grunt. A nice, oh, no, porgy. Oh, nice little keeper porgy. Here. Yeah. This is a blue line. Blue line? Yeah. No. Blue yep, line? Yep, blue line. I, I'd like to keep that. Yeah, we'll keep it. put that in with our uh, yellow tail That's there. That's a good one. So, yeah. That'll work. Oh, yeah. Nice little blue line porgy. Yeah, Add to the box. 
All right, putting a live fish down on a mutton rig. So we got about 40 feet a liter. There's bottom, so we're gonna crank up three or four cranks. And I'm actually gonna put the bait runner on so that if a mutton takes it, he doesn't feel the hook. Sticker in Rodney. Let Rodney do its job. Come on, mutton. Yeah. Uh, flounder. Yeah, little baby flounder. There you go, little baby flounder. Over here on this side of the water. The minimum is like 18. Yeah, one second. Let me finish dropping this down, or unless you want to do it, yeah. Oh, well, wait. Okay. Flounder. Yeah, it's just meat. This little strip of meat. That's all they are. Can't even see the hook. The minimum is on there. Uh, like 12, I think. Pretty decent. Uh, southern flounder. Yeah, 12. Gotcha. Whatever you are. My GoPro on. Yeah. Okay. Had to double check. What do we got? Something good size. Oh, uh, that's how A red grouper. Another, another baby red grouper. Well, that ain't cool. Okay, there's something going on with that line. Oh, uh, my red grouper's caught it. That's what's going on with that line. All right, guys, we got a nice assortment here. A couple of good sized yellowtails, a porgy, and this pudding wife wrasse. So let's get cracking on this pudding wife. If you've ever wanted to see what is uh, the inside of one of these looks like, we'll feel long, soft right there. Make our cut in. Big thick scales, looks like. Hmm. Very interesting so far. We're just going to line this guy out. Curious to see what this uh, meat looks like, actually. I think I've seen somebody fillet these before and they were blue inside, so let's find out. Yep, blue inside. Crazy. But I heard they're good. So, like I said, I've been wanting to try one and uh, have heard that they taste like parrotfish, although we cannot keep parrotfish in Florida. But I heard that these are very, very, very similar. So, like I said, interesting fish for sure with this blue meat. Hope you guys can see that. Pretty crazy looking. We'll cut through those pin bones real quick. And then just follow those ribs down. And there we have it. So that's our blue pudding wife wrasse filet. All right, then we'll just knock the skin off real quick. Really thick skin, really thick scales. Kind of interesting for sure. We'll just do it just like we normally do. Just follow the skin down, put pressure on the knife. And there we go. Good looking filet. We'll put that right on the plate there. We've got some bones in there I could definitely feel. So I'm gonna wanna cut those out. It's weird, it's like there's a line right there and there's a line right here and I could feel the bones on this side. That's kind of interesting. We, what we will do, since I've never done one of these before, I'm gonna go ahead and just split the filet in two just so that I know for sure, get the scale out of there. Just so I know for sure that those bones are all gone. So I'm gonna follow that line down. And then that way I know I've got no bones in there. All my bones are right there. 
So then we'll just cut that half out. And now I know I've got all my bones right in here, which we're going to give to the chickens. And we're completely clean over here. So there we go. We've got our blue <laughs> tinted pudding wipe ras fillets. Definitely interesting. Hey, we're going to give this a shot. I think I, uh, I think I might just fry these up and, and uh, you know, you can never go wrong with some fried fish, right? So uh, we'll try frying these up. And uh, I think for the yellowtail, I'm going to make some ceviche because I absolutely love ceviche and I've got some fresh tomatoes for the garden. So uh, we'll definitely do this ceviche uh, right now. I'm going to knock the side off the, uh, the or knock the other side off that fish and uh, finish up the rest of these guys. And I'll meet you back in the kitchen. All right. I wasn't going to leave you guys in full suspense for the whole video. Uh, yes, I was in the hospital for eight days. Um, was it necessarily because I ate? blue filet from a pudding wife rasp? No. Uh, actually, um, interestingly enough, this is going to be a catch clean with no cook. Uh, I did go to the hospital just a couple of days after uh, we made this video and, you know, it, it, it wasn't full clickbait. Um, uh, you know, full disclosure, I've been feeling kind of weird for the past three, four months. I went to the ER like three months ago. They gave me cough medicine. I've just had this cough and uh, it's been dry and nothing coming up and, you know, couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, about a month ago, I stopped being able to uh, to play hockey and go to the gym and, you know, do anything that I could normally do. And, uh, and just like a week ago, I almost wasn't able to do hardly anything. And so, you know, Alicia talked me into going fishing because, of course, that's not a hard sell. And uh, it really took a lot out of me. And so the next day or two was pretty rough. And I ended up going to uh, a pulmonologist visit where they'd put me on some, um, some antibiotics to see what was going on they did a CT scan and really nothing had come up just a little bit of like fuzziness and so uh, you know I, I went to the, to the pulmonologist and they said your O2 levels are 82 you're literally we're calling the ER now like you're going now and so uh, yeah eight days in the hospital they still never found out what actually was wrong um, I just got out about two days ago and uh, I'm already out here fixing the axles. I got the new one put on and uh, I went and picked these up about a week before I, I went to the hospital. So uh, we got the, the new one uh, put on and uh, you know, the old one is about to come off. So doing well with that. But uh, yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update on that. I didn't want you to think that I went to the hospital because I ate a pudding wife wrasse, but it was because we went fishing and it just took too much out of me. And so anyway, uh, moral of the story, they did find that there was some, uh, it's like a lingering infection in my lungs. Uh, you'll hear me all throughout this video and probably the past couple of months videos. Um, I've been kind of having this little like <clears throat> cough type of thing and that's not normal for me. You know, I'm, I'm normal, very, very clear. So, um, that was, you know, we were concerned about it. We were trying to figure out what was going on. I was going to different doctors and stuff like that, but nobody could figure out what exactly what was happening. So uh, basically they, they just found that it was just a lingering uh, infection that was kind of left over from possibly COVID six months ago or who knows, you know, I don't know. I don't remember having COVID six months ago, but you know, they, they ran every test under the sun. They ran, uh, they call, they called it a bio fire and uh, still nothing came back positive. At one point we were even talking about lung biopsy. So I had a bronchioscope, I'm all, that's why I sound kind of weird, but uh, you know, my throat's all raw, but I mean, they basically did every test under the sun blood and 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 uh, mucus wise lovely I know <laughs> and found nothing you know so uh, eight days of uh, IV steroids and IV antibiotics and I could finally <sighs> take a full breath again and not cough so it feels amazing again I'm out here working it's humid as crap it's been raining for like the past eight days so of course everything that I left outside on accident on uh, you know the, the day before I went to the hospital is now all ruined but it is what it is. But anyway, that's the update, guys. We're getting back to fishing. We're hoping to fish tomorrow. We've got an amazing video coming up. Um, actually, we fished We fished uh, this video, and then we fished the next video, which, um, you know, spoiler alert, dolphin, cobia, amberjack. I mean, we had a banner day. But again, like that was that was like the day before I went to the hospital. It was just rough. So, I mean, we fished a couple days in a row that weekend, and, uh, and it absolutely killed me, and I ended up in the hospital on Wednesday. So, yeah fun times uh anyway we're uh we're, we're back to normal thankfully and uh thank everybody for all the uh the love and support and uh we're gonna get back to fishing